you're watching what you eat. You have to. An extra kilogram or two can attach itself to your hips remarkably quickly and never leave. For most of us, watching implies passing on forbidden foods. Avoiding eye contact with a chocolate fudge sundae is helpful. But there's more to watching than meets the eye. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we unpack how your eyes rule the plate. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster helping you battle sugar gremlins, hair for lumps and other health horribles through Better Body Chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Researchers from Bristol University enlisted the help of volunteers to study just how much your eyes contribute to the hunger conversation. Ultimately, a hundred volunteers arrived for their free lunch. Of course, there's no such thing as a free lunch. The volunteers were subject to some trickery. Their soup bowls had been doctored. Everyone did get soup, but how much was manipulated using a hydraulic pump. So the amount of soup seen did not always correspond to the amount of soup consumed. 25 volunteers saw 300 milliliters of soup and got 500. Another 25 volunteers saw 500 milliliters of soup, but they were shortchanged. They only got 300 milliliters. The rest of the volunteers got what they saw. One group got 300 milliliters and the other 500 milliliters. Once the soup had been eaten, volunteers were asked how satisfied they felt with the free lunch. Now, the researchers were not interested in a critique of the soup quality, but in whether the soup had filled up the hole. Immediately after lunch, those who ate more soup felt fuller. Duh. But a couple of hours later, the story unexpectedly changed. The people who had seen the small bowl of soup, they are represented by the solid squares, felt way more hungry than the people who had seen the big bowl of soup, they are represented by the open circles. Seen the bowl of soup. Not eaten the bowl of soup. It's a case of seeing is believing. The eyes were dictating hunger. The eyes, not the stomach. So if you're watching what you eat, watch out. This research suggests that your eyes are always watching, but their vigilance may not always serve you. Your eyes are not only taking into account which tantalizing morsels are on the plate, they're also registering just how much is on the plate. From past experience, you've learned exactly how much of something it takes to make you feel full. So anytime you sit in front of a plate of food, the eye sends a report to the brain, informing it that there is enough food to satisfy your energy needs. Or when it is just a lettuce leaf or two, that this meal is a disaster and it's time to institute plan B because, well, starvation is a real possibility. Of course, in today's world, food is always just around the corner. So starvation is highly unlikely. For most of us, we live in a world of more than enough. Unfortunately, if you're running the I'm about to starve program in your head, your brain responds by encouraging you to eat more, particularly calorie-rich foods. Aish. So at the very next meal, even if your stomach doesn't feel it needs a little more, your brain will insist on taking extra bites to avert a potential energy crisis. And even when the bites are perfectly acceptable, that is, it's real food, not too high in carbs, not too high in fat, the fact that you're eating more than you really need means the more needs to be processed. And more often than not, the more ends up being stored for a rainy day. And thanks to climate change, rainy days don't happen too often. Ouch. 
you're not just eating because you know it will taste real good and your stomach is empty. You're loading up the plate because of an eye scan. An eye scan that happened a couple of hours earlier. Your eyes are doing more than leading you into temptation. They're loading up the plate. Maybe it's time to get a pair of appetite suppressing glasses so that the food on your plate looks bigger, causing you to automatically feel more satisfied. It might be chic and cool to have enormous plates on the table, but that helping of food disappears on the big plate. The same serving on a small plate ends up occupying the whole plate, which looks like a lot more. Your eyes will be impressed and your stomach, well, just goes with the flow. The take home message is if you're weight watching, the size of your plate matters. Default to smaller plates. It will help you eat less at your next meal. Plate size can be a trigger. If you want to tame your sugar gremlin, you need to be aware of your triggers so you can take precautions. To learn more about the Candy Floss system, download the Willpower Report. It's free and begin the journey today to creating better body chemistry and better health. Frustrated with your body chemistry? Visit our website to browse our library or sign up for a health conversation to find out the little things you can do to move the needle on your health. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who is weight watching? Share this video with them so they can acquire a pair of appetite suppressing glasses. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.